Great news everyone, iOS 9 has finally, finally been released. Yay! I don't even have an iPhone. What I do have, however, is a Nexus 6 and a pretty good knowledge of Android and smart tech and stuff in general. And every single update, without fail, it seems as if Apple is always one or two years behind Android. And once again, iOS 9 is just another showcase of that. So, let's have at it and uh, piss off at least 50% of my viewer base. Well, actually 18%, but still. Here is iOS 9 versus Android. So, one of the most significant new features is better multitasking. You can tap a little thing on your phone and it'll take you back to the app you last had open, you know, sort of like, or exactly like the uh, recent app screen that Android has had for ages. But wait, if you have an iPad, you can now open up... <laughs> I don't know what happened there. If you have an iPad, then you can now open up two, that's right, two, two apps on a single screen and use them both at once. Exactly like Android has been able to on multiple skins. The shift key now makes all of the letters on the keyboard uppercase instead of staying lowercase. Seriously? I iOS has existed since 2007 and they haven't got that yet. Are we... is that... is that really a thing? I don't believe... show me, show me. Swiping left on the first page of apps will now not only give you access to search, but also show your recent contacts, Damn it, Apple! Here's the thing, okay? I don't dislike Apple. I'm not one of these Android fanboys and be like, oh, Android is the best. Apple invented the modern smartphone. Invented the modern smartphone. And yet, they're still behind. They're still behind. They took all of this innovation they once had and they're just not bothering with it anymore. Yeah, it's nice catching up with features Android has already got, but that's not, that's not what you want. That's not the important thing. The important thing is new features what, why should I buy an iPhone when an Android device, a cheaper Android device no less, has better specs, uh, a better display, and more newer features that, you know, iOS probably will get in a few years but hasn't got at the moment? There's just no reason to. And that's probably one of the reasons why whenever I see someone say, oh, I got a new phone, I got an iPhone, I'm like, oh, cool. You have it in you, Apple. You have it in you to innovate and to make some freaking awesome uh, new things for smartphones. But you're just not doing it, and that's not good enough. Come on, you guys can do it. Okay, so this is the bit at the end of the video I'm going to explain what's been going on. So I, I haven't made a video in five months, five months. And I said I'd be doing it weekly. And even so, people have still stayed subscribed. I've still been getting a ton of views, which is just awesome. And um, I've been getting so many nice comments saying, oh, have you, when you're coming back and you deserve more recognition, and that's... Great, I'm going to do videos again, one a week. Um, chances are most of them will be a bit like that. There'll be, there'll be more research than this video and actually talk about recent news. But, you know, I just wanted to get something out there as soon as I could and I couldn't really find any particular things. I don't really want to make newsy things. I want to sort of... You know, there are tons of videos that already do that and that, that's cool. I want to do reviews and videos like this where I'm just sort of chatting about my thoughts on things and stuff like that. Let me know what you think. Please like. Which side is it? I don't know. This is weird. Like, there, or there, wherever it is. Uh, comment, that should just be anywhere. And subscribe, which is not there, sh there. More videos. Every week. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Okay, goodbye.